Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. Welcome to my first time visitors. I consider you one hit wonders. I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, did you know it's not nice to fool mother nature? All right, today's video, we are doing a top 10 free spring summer top patterns that are available on Ravelry. Whew, that was a mouthful. Because we are kicking off the Tanks and Tees 2023 crochet along in May, I figured this would be a good time to talk about some really nice, easy and affordable patterns that are available on Ravelry. Now, many of these do have links to the independent websites. So I will be sure to include the website links across the screen and also in the description box. Before I get started, grab something to drink. Your favorite cuppa, if you will, because I am doing that today. This is not sponsored. This is just me, very, very thirsty. Also, full transparency, is that the right thing? I literally just filmed this video and forgot to turn on the microphone. I'm testing out my new microphone that I got from Timu. This is the second time I'm using it. Technically, this is the third time. I just had to remember to turn it on this time. So it is on. Oh, uh, yes, it is on. So we should be good to go. Before we get started, I want to talk about what Miss Hetty is wearing. This is the South Bay Chalette by Lion Brand. I made this in September of 2012. And this was before I had learned about blocking. So I would wear it and, you know, I, I always thought that it didn't seem to fit right, but I would still wear it, whatever. Well, last year when I learned about blocking, she was one of the first things to get blocked and boy, oh boy, did she grow. She is beautiful. She is like, she, the drape is gorgeous and I just love this shawl. It was made with Knit Picks palette in the color Cornmeal. I plan to make it again. I I'd looked at the notes in Ravelry because I had uploaded it, but I never put a picture with it. But the notes were, I didn't like this as much as I'd hoped I would. I mean, I like the finished product. I just didn't enjoy the journey. So I'm going to have to re revisit the pattern and see what I possibly didn't like about it. Unless it was just simply the fact that the, the yarn was so thin and I wasn't used to using thin yarn. I don't, I don't know, but I'd like to re revisit it with, I don't know, with my well-educated or more educated eyeballs and see if there's something that I can do differently and just enjoy it more because the finished garment is beautiful and they call it a chalette but honestly the size of it to me a chalette is almost like the length of like a kerchief um, this to me is like a full length shawl but you know to each his own yes that's what miss hetty is wearing today and i got to wear it earlier this evening with my nice spring dress and uh the color of this pulled out this color right here really, really well. And I was cute. Let's get started. Number 10 on our list is the Cumberland tank. Okay, this tank is made by Two of Wands. Um, Alexandra Tavel is the designer and it uses a worsted weight yarn, a 5.5 millimeter and a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook using 738 to 1848 yards or 675 to 1690 meters. It's available in sizes extra small all the way up to 4X. And this is striped. It is made in the round Bottom. up and it says it's seamless and it is uh, sleeveless. Now, it is available on Ravelry for $4.50. However, you can access this pattern on her blog uh, for free. All of the tops that I have made have some kind of striping in it one way or another. I am loving stripes and stripes to me are the perfect 
gateway into doing color work in your crochet. It is a shell style topless, topless, <laughs> a shell style sleeveless top with a slightly relaxed fit. Number nine, a plum peplum top by Natalie of Detroit Knots. Okay, now this one is available on the Stitch and Hustle website. It is made in a DK weight using a four millimeter crochet hook 645 to 1,354 yards or 590 to 1,238 meters. It is sized from extra small all the way up to 5X. It's made in one piece and ribbed. This top is made side to side in one piece. I like that. I like that a lot. And it's ribbed, so it's going to give you that, you know, that little bit of stretch so that it's going to accentuate the positive number eight is the wander sweater tank top by the knotted nest this one is made in Aran weight or worsted it uses a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook it is 580 to 720 yards or 530 to 658 meters it has sizes small up to 2xl let's see it has a scoop neck it has stripes, it's worked flat and seamed. I like that the top is plain and then the bottom part has striping. It is made using two identical panels and they are then seamed up the side and at the shoulder. It is $5 on Ravelry, but it's also available for free on their website. Number seven is the Starburst Tank Top by Carrie Chambers, also known as Crochet with Carrie, or hey carry. This one is a crop top. It uses a DK weight yarn, a four millimeter hook and a five millimeter hook. And it's sized from small to two X. So since it only does go up to a two X because you are making it the ribbing first, you can just keep making the ribbon ribbing to the size that accommodates your waistline or wherever you want the uh, top to rest and with most of Carrie's um, patterns she has tutorials on her YouTube channel and I'll put her YouTube channel like her YouTube name here number six is the summer vacation crocheted top by Jessica Reeves potash also known as mama in a stitch this is a DK weight pattern it uses a five millimeter crochet hook and uses 900 to 2,000 yards or 823 to 1,829 meters. It is sized from small to 2X. This has a boat neck. It is a rectangle top down, sleeveless, and it is worked flat. So you're going to make two identical pieces and then stitch them up the side. I love the fit of this top. It is so pretty and it's so drapey and she used Lion Brand Kobu and I already know that Kobu does have a beautiful drape. On Ravelry there are 51 projects. Uh, someone, someone made theirs with a uh, variegated yarn which I think is really cool because it kind of helps to uh, act almost like a septrifuge. Crochet word dictionary. Septrifuge. It hides the fact that it might be a little see-through. So I like that. I think this is number five. Number five is the Road Trip Tank by K Crochets. This is, uh, this one is exciting. This one I think has been in my um, favorites for a little while. It's made, it's a sport weight and it uses a three millimeter and four millimeter crochet hook. It requires 455 to 1,545 yards or 416 to 1,413 meters. It's sized from extra small to 5X. It is bottom up, scoop neck, worked flat. Okay, it is $4 US on Ravelry, but it is also available for free on her website. She mm -hmm. rates it as an easy um, level pattern. It is worked in two separate panels from the bottom up. It has a recommendation of one inch of negative E. It's not going to be so tight that, you know, it, 
I feel like it's, <laughs> it, it could still be very flattering if you don't, you know, if you don't like clothes that are close fit, close fit clothes, close fit clothes. If you, you, you know what I mean? If you, if you don't want to accent anything, I feel like this is a good style or a, yes, a good style and a good size pattern. If you don't want the ease, then I would probably say to go up a size. So that way you have, you have, I guess you'll probably, if it's made with one inch negative ease and you go up a size, you'll probably end up with two inches of positive ease. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Another, uh, another benefit of looking at uh, other projects that people have made with a specific pattern on Ravelry is that you get an idea of different yarns that people have used. So if, if you, you know, don't have the designer's recommended yarn, but you still want to make this project, you can see that people have used, you know, whatever. Yeah, so like, looking at other people's projects, you can get a whole lot of information. Sometimes people put notes in there. It gives you way more information than maybe the pattern itself would give you because other people who have tried it and other people who have made it can say, oh, by the way, I did this or I did that and I tried this and whatever. So the project pages are very, very helpful. So number four is the Sweet Summer Tea by Rachel Misner of Evelyn and Peter Crochet Designs. This requires a DK weight and a four millimeter crochet hook. It needs 865 to 1350 yards or 791 to 1234 meters. The sizing is extra small to 5X. It is worked flat bottom up. It is $3.50 on Ravelry, but it is available for free on her website. There are 159 projects on Ravelry. All right, let's see, just to get an idea of different yarn options that have been chosen. Kobu, Truebu, so, uh, Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek, uh, Universal Yarn Bamboo Pop, Lion Brand Comfy Cotton. It's so inspiring because again, we have so many different styles of yarn and so many different kinds and we can just, <sighs> the world is our oyster. Is that what I mean to say? Sure. So most of the product, most of the projects were made using the Lion Brand Kobu, which I believe is what she was, is what the designer used. Okay, so it is made in two panels, but they are not identical pattern. They are not identical panels. They are worked from the bottom up. It has an oversized fit and she recommends printing out the pattern and highlighting your sizes to avoid making mistakes. I'm going to say this and it's going to be my mantra for evermore. Swatching is your friend. Swatching is your friend swatching is your friend especially if you're using a yarn that you've never used before if you're using a yarn that you're not really sure how it behaves swatching is your friend i i used to think swatching was just a waste of time because i wanted to get into what i was making but if you were to skip swatching and you start making a top and you get we'll say halfway three fourths of the way or worse yet, you completely finish it and then you try it on and find out it's eight sizes too big or worse, it's too small. Then you've wasted all that time and all that time could have been saved with a swatch. Now, the thing to remember with swatching is a lot of people think that it's just about making sure that your gauge matches the designer's gauge. And yes, that is important, but what happens if you do match the gauge of the designer, but you don't like the feel of the fabric? You don't like the drape of the fabric. You can still make some adjustments and still make the pattern that you want to, but adjust it in ways that you're going to like the finished fit. You're going to like the feel of the finished garment and like the drape and how it all behaves. So a lot can be learned with a swatch. The first thing I will tell you about swatching is even though almost every single pattern that mentions gauge says a four by four, you know, like four inches by four inches should equal this. 
always make your gauge swatch at least a six by six because when you are making a swatch, your end stitches are not necessarily a true indicator of how you stitch in the middle. So if you're requiring to me if it's required that you measure four inches to see, you know, to, me to match the designer's gauge or whatever, you've got an inch on each side, almost as a, we'll call it a waist area. That way, all of the stitches in the middle are going to be the perfect stitch the perfect height everything that it needs to be you'll be able to get what you need that information from those middle stitches so even though again it says four by four always try to shoot for a six by six don't st don't stop at the four by four because the information will will not be accurate where are we at we are at number brrr, we are at number three Okay, number three is Sagebrush Tank Top by Grace for the Frills. If this sounds familiar, yes, this is the tank top that I started making and then stopped halfway when I realized that it was going to be made in two identical panels. I have not gone any further with the making, but I will tell you this much. I decided to go ahead and block the first half just to see exactly what my finished piece would look like and I gotta say I love it it is so soft it is beautifully drapey it is just everything that you could want in a tank top and given all of that I have decided that I will make the second half of this tank top I don't know when but I will make it hopefully before the end of summer which in Louisiana could be like October Let's talk about the pattern. It requires a DK yarn, uh, four and a half millimeter crochet hook, 383 to 951 yards, or 350 to 870 meters. It is sized from an extra small to a 3X. And as I've said before, it is made in two, two identical pieces. It has a scoop neck and it is worked from side to side. In the back loop only, you are using a half double crochet to make the ribbing. And I like, again, the ribbing because when it's, you know, hanging on the hanger or whatever, it might look like it's this thin, but then you can put it on and, it, and it's, you know, it, you've got some stretch in there. So yeah. if you like tops that are a little form fitting, this is perfect. So it's not going to be like, like a bodysuit kind of fit. It's, it's, I don't know it looks like it has like some flounce to it so you shouldn't have to worry about it being too snug now this has 308 projects on Ravelry so many just again different sizes different fits different colors different design um, different print prints different yarn choices different yarn colors and it's beautiful it is a simple pattern if you know how to do half double crochets in back loop only you're golden because that is pretty much the entire pattern. I used Holst Coast yarn, which is a blend of wool and cotton. It is such a beautiful fabric that it is made. In, in working with uh, patterns that are for spring and summer tops, you want to be mindful of your, of your fiber choice. Cotton, linen, bamboo, silk. I can't think of any other ones. There's a lot of like plant-based fibers that people recommend for making summer garments. However, I'm going to put an asterisk there because 100% cotton, while it can be, you know what, I don't even know what it can be. Uh, I know what, no, actually I do. 100% cotton can be heavy, very heavy, and it does not spring back it has no elasticity it doesn't so. hold its shape very well so a lot of times it's recommended that you get yarns that have a blend of something so cotton and wool cotton and acrylic just something because the acrylic and or wool in those uh, combinations act as the elastic part or the part that helps spring the the garment back into the shape that you need it to be i would also if you can avoid anything heavier than a DK weight because 
you don't want something that's going to be hot because of fiber content, but also hot because of thickness. Especially if you're like if you're doing Tunisian crochet, honestly, I would not go above a sport weight in a Tunisian crochet garment. I, I just wouldn't do it because the the fabric that it makes is very dense. So then you'll have heavy and thick and hot and passing out and nobody wants that. Do some research on choosing your fiber for um, your spring and summer tops. I would recommend going through and looking at some knitting patterns for tank tops and t-shirts and just looking at some of the yarn choices that they have because you can use wool, not not fisherman's wool, not necessarily, you know, um, untreated wool, but uh, like a fingering weight merino or even a DK merino nylon blend could possibly work well depending on how hot it gets and also you know the style of the top that you're making. I hope I didn't lose anybody but again regardless of what fabric you pick what did I say don't forget to swatch. Number two is the I don't know how to pronounce this I'm gonna say Ista's top. So Ista's top is made by Erin Erlinson and it is made in a worsted weight. I've made this pattern. I like this pattern. I plan to make this pattern again. It requires a five millimeter crochet hook, 383 to 601 yards or 350 to 550 meters. It is uh, extra small to extra large. So it's not very size inclusive. Unfortunately, I can tell you it is made in the round, top down, it is seamless, and I believe there's some there's some shaping at the waist. The only caveat that I would say is um, on the side, there's, you get like side boob, right, right along the side here. And so when I make it again, I'm definitely going to be mindful of that. It's just because, you know, no, nobody wants a peek a boob. Uh, when I made mine, I believe I used... Barocco cotton something something or other something something or other crochet word dictionary looking at the project page lots of inspiration lots of again it just amazes me sometimes when you see a pattern and then you see all of the different things that people can do with that same pattern still being like the same pattern where you can like if you're in public and you say oh that's an aces top you might pronounce it wrong because I have no idea how you're supposed to say it it's a latin word so it starts with an A, it's A-E-S-T-A-S. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, but yeah, you're like, hey, that's one of those tops. Look, somebody added sleeves. That's kind of neat. Oh, that would help with the side boob issue. And it's got like some open work mesh that runs along the side. And I believe that's where the shaping comes in. And it's very flattering if you could just, you know, just do something with that part. Okay, what number was that? That was number, that was number two. And number one is going to be yes. the, the Wren Tank and Tea by Ashley of Cactus and Lace Designs. This is the top that we have chosen for the Tanks and Teas 2023 Crochet Along, hosted by Nina's Knots Crochet and me. Hi! We chose this one for a, a, a few reasons. One, it is an easy top pattern. Therefore, it's perfect for a beginner or a beginner crocheter or a beginner crocheted garment maker. You have the choice of a tank top or a t-shirt, or you could do both. And this is made in two separate panels. I don't believe they are two identical pattern. Pat ah, why can't I say that? It's not two identical panels. This pattern is available for free on her website. However, you can also purchase it through Ravelry if you would like to support this designer. I have reached out to her and she's, ex she's really excited for this crochet along. And we're hoping that most of the people who are gonna participate in the crochet along make either this tank or this top, what am I saying? This tank or this tea show some love to Ashley and her designs. She's got quite a few designs here on Ravelry. So let's talk about this pattern. It, 
uh, she made hers in Lion Brand Kobu, so that's a DK weight. It uses a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, 600 to 1100 yards or 549 to 1006 meters. It is sized from extra small to 5X. If you're making the t-shirt, it has a cap sleeve. The tank top has a v-neck. It is made bottom up. She gives it a, a the skill level as a beginner. So I did reach out to the designer, Ashley, and let her know that we were using her pattern for the crochet along, which again, she's excited about. And I asked if she had any tips for us moving forward. And she said that the thing to keep in mind is your yarn choice, which means swatching is imperative because if you are making a top that is made out again out of the wrong fabric if it's if you're trying to use 100 percent cotton you run the risk of it stretching and never coming back and who wants a v-neck that goes from a v-neck to looking like one of those wrestlers leotard things that's i mean if that's what you're going for look just you float on okay I, just i'm for me for me I ain't feeling it, okay? Like, a nice, respectable V-neck is, is about as, what's the word I'm looking for? Provocative as I'm willing to go. Now, when you do your swatch, aside from, again, making it at least six by six, you treat it the way you're going to treat the finished garment. So if you're going to hand wash your finished garment, then hand wash your swatch and dry it and just do everything if you plan to machine wash it, i guess you can do that too machine wash your swatch and dry it and see how it it turns out if it's everything you wanted it to be then power on you've got the perfect fabric but if it don't act right in the swatch then you might want to rethink either the stitch you're using or the yarn that you've chosen okay i'm just yeah, so I feel like I've said it enough times, but swatch, 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 swatch. I'm not doing that again. If you upload your finished project to Instagram, you can use the hashtag cactus and lace designs so that she can see it, but also use the, the hashtag tanks and tees 2023 so that we also can see. Are it. you planning to participate in the crochet along? So yes, we have chosen, um, the Wren Tank and Tee top, the Wren Tank and Tee pattern, but you do not have to use that pattern to participate in the crochet along. On Facebook, Nina's Knots Crochet has a Facebook group and she is going to have it uh, where you can discuss the crochet along on her Facebook group. Also, if you are on Ravelry, inside of the Glam Fam Ravelry group, there will be a thread for the Tanks and Tees 2023 crochet along. There's gonna be one that is for those that are doing the Wren Tank and Tee pattern, and then a separate one for those who are doing any other pattern. That will be like where you can discuss. So that's like the chatter thread. And then there will be a thread for just finished objects. That way we can kind of keep them all together. If you want to use Instagram to share your photos, use the hashtag tanks and tees 2023. That is our official hashtag. I am y'all just so excited. <laughs> Lynn Ann of Nina's Knots Crochet. She says that we are each other's evil twins, but she's the one that has cameras hidden in my house. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not an evil twin. Some people are afraid to make crocheted garments. And this is the perfect way to dip your toe into the garment making pool. And let me just tell you, the water is wonderful. Okay, so dip your foot in the pool. Dip your foot in the pool. I'm trying not to sing that Howard Jones song that I love so, so much. I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to do it. I will do this. Tanks and Tees 2023. Tanks and Tees 20. If you have liked this video, please like this video. If you want to stick around and join the Glam Fam, do so by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to rock that notification bell. Until next time, I've been Jackie.